My name's Aaron Croman, and I'm going to show you how to turn your letters into bubbles. Okay, so first we're going to make a new layer, and I'm going to kind of make go to the foreground color, and I'm going to kind of make it a dark blue, and uh, use the fill tool. And we just it does you can use whatever you want uh, the uh, just a dark background to because a light background won't really show it so well. Then we're going to uh, go to the text. I'm going to use a uh, little bit bubblier text. Let's see. That should work. And we're going to type in bubble. And of course, make sure your foreground color is, or your text color is white. We're going to hit the check mark. So I'm going to use the move tool, just kind of position it a little. There we go. And now we're going to go to the FX uh, and hit blending options, or you can just double click the layer and it'll pop right up. Okay. So we're going to uh, kind of play with these options to make this much more bubble-like. So we're going to put down a drop shadow, make the distance a little further away, and make it kind of And remember, the, from the opposite side, where the uh, angle that you want the uh, shadow to go, going to put a little distance because the bubbles are floating. And going to play with the kind of spread and size, just kind of make it a little blurry because it's not crisp because it's floating up in the air. You can use the blending options to play with the aspects of light in your on the layer. Uh, and you can kind of give it a little bit more of a 3D, such as with the drop shadow. Just give it a little more oomph. Now we're going to go to inner shadow. And we're going to set this to white. And then inner glow. And set this to white as well. Now I can't really see too much going on so far because it's uh, set to uh, be of uh, white uh, for the text. Uh, I'm going to go back over to the text and I'm going to make it uh, overlay. And now you can see it a whole lot better. You can even try out going to uh, multiply, kind of play with the mixing options. Might look a little bit better like that. So Anyway, so go back to the FX. So double, double click. And we're going to go to Satin. Kind of adds a little sh uh, dark shadow in the middle. And we can up the opacity a little. Make it nice and black. Or we can even mess with the distance. Or the size. But this is fine how it looks. And uh, then we're going to go with Gradient Overlay. We're going to put this down to a little bit of an overlay. Well, maybe make it normal, but just kind of really light. And uh, we're going to click on the gradient. And we're going to uh, click on the one on top. This deals with the opacity, so the, around the black area. And we're going to set that to zero. So now it's going from white to transparent. Hit OK. And just kind of angle it so it's almost up. We just want to catch a little bit of it. Get all the letters. There we go. And And then you can mess with the, the 
different layer or different with the different uh, stuff if you want to make it a little bit more of an outline or maybe make knock down the opacity a little so it's even more bubbly and more invisible and make this overlay a little so knock it down a little so so it just looks more and more bubbly and then just all this uh, so tell it looks how you like hit OK and there you go some nice bubbly letters so now you can make bubbles of all shapes and sizes. My name's Aaron Croman. Good luck with your art.